All of you guys who watch the channel regularly will know last term, the, I think I got two, two videos out, bad fortune hits me. I've learned so much. Uh, I thought I'd take this chance to tell you guys, law is a fantastic, fantastic subject. I'm just loving it. I want to just start out this video by saying, wow, look at my hair, it's atrocious. Good morning everyone, welcome back to Cambridge. It is a ghastly time, early in the morning, but it's 2024, we're back for a new term, and we're trying to keep to our New Year's resolutions of actually being organised. Um, I'm so happy to see you guys, it's been a bit of a while. Um, we'll get into that a bit later, but I promise this term this year we'll be having some regular uploads for you guys um yeah it's freezing by the way like zero degrees right now but i'm off to a coffee shop to get some work done um so feeling good feeling good feeling positive if not slightly sleepy uh let's go so calm it's so quiet the cafe backs onto the gardens um, it's just a really beautiful place to work so let's be productive this morning let's try let's try It is now 12.30. I spent a good three hours in there. Um, I was quite productive and it's made me feel a bit, you know, satisfied. Now, next task of the day is to go to the shops and get some ingredients for dinner because we're having tacos and I'm so excited. Oh, okay, finally we've made it back for lunch, which is going to be a very student-y peanut butter sandwich. I hope you guys don't mind, I'm just going to go right ahead with this. Yeah, I think now is as good a time as any to get to the real meat of what I wanted this video to be about. And you guys know, all of you guys who watch the channel regularly will know last term, the, I think I got two, two videos out, which is way less than I was planning. So let me paint you a little picture here. I, I'll take you back to October when this year began. I was starting second year. I had bright ideas of how I was going to do it because, you know, I'd already done first year. I thought, mm, but perhaps naively that, you know, I've done first year. I know what I'm doing now. Second year is going to be much easier. So yeah, I get to uni. I kind of realize in the first couple of weeks it's going to be a lot of work but i think you know what i can do it i can do it then bad fortune hits me i kind of get a bug i become quite ill 
Um, I'm not very well. This just causes me to fall even further behind my work with my work because I was so stressed and because I wasn't, you know, on top of things that just kind of made the illness linger forever. And I, I didn't get rid of it for the entire term. In fact, it got worse, worse and worse and worse to the point where over the holidays I had to go see a proper doctor about it and get some like pretty um, strong medication to fix it. Now I'm on the mend, I feel much better. I can feel it in myself running around this morning. Yeah, I'm back on top of things. I've learned so much about not only myself personally, but kind of about life. And I never wanna get in that state again. I wanna address with you guys the perception that Oxford and Cambridge is unbelievably intense. You don't sleep, you work all night you don't have any social life, all that stuff. I'm addressing it right here, right now, as someone who went through hard times. The perception is not true, okay? It's not true. The problem comes when you don't know how to look after yourself or how to manage your time well. I thought I knew how to do those things, but I didn't. Now, managing your time well doesn't necessarily mean getting absolutely everything done, means prioritizing tasks, getting really important things done with deadlines, but never ever wavering on looking after yourself. So for example, all throughout last year, I went to the gym like regularly three times a week. Last term, like barely ever, barely ever. And I just lost track of so many things. I didn't do meditation anymore. I didn't do Duolingo, which is a big thing because I had like a 300 day streak and it, I just like lost it and I didn't care. And like these little routines that keep you going. And of course it is hard work and you do have to work you know, semi-long hours, but I've said to myself this term, you know, work hard nine to six every day, 6 p.m., clock off, regardless of how much work you have to do, look after yourself, do something you wanna do. On the weekends, go out, go to a coffee shop you wanna go to. I wanna do these things because I need them. And to be honest, if I don't look after myself, my work and it suffers the consequences anyway. And Guys, I just plead. The most important life lesson I have learned is no matter how busy you are, never, ever, ever deprioritize yourself. Never, ever, ever cut your own personal needs out of the picture. Because at the end of the day, that just drives you more and more into ill health, uh, tiredness, kind of lack of, of, of productiveness and it's just, it's not a good recipe. It's not a good recipe. And it took me a full six weeks in bed to recover. Um, so guys, if you want a top tip, get working hard, get resting hard. Woo! But we're planning to get back to the regular videos. You'll all be delighted to know, I'm sure. Um, uploads, I'm gonna try get uploads out every Monday um, for you guys. So stay tuned. Okay, that was a quick turnaround. I'm now rushing off to a meeting uh, because one thing you guys will have missed last term is I became co-president of my college law society. So we're now meeting with one of the law fellows to discuss plans for a revision week that we're holding in April. But I'm actually like one minute before I'm gonna be late. I've got a run. Just made it back from my meeting. It was a really good meeting, really productive meeting, and the fellow we were meeting is really nice and he's really friendly and we had a good laugh. And yeah, the revision week looks like it's gonna be quite successful, which is quite exciting. I am now back in my room. Time is, if you can see, 14.49 at 5 p.m. I am gonna get back into my gym era. I cannot wait, guys, I cannot wait. I don't know, it's just symbolic, I feel, of just being back in my healthy era. So, um, yeah, let's try and get up to date. I'm like two lectures behind where I need to be and lectures start again tomorrow, so I'm gonna uh, catch up for the next couple hours. Um, I will, I'll give you guys a bit of a briefing on what I'm doing because, you know, I am a law student and I like talking about law. So first lecture we shall be partaking in is contract law, undue influence, which is basically where a contract is made, but 
it can't be valid because someone had an undue influence on the person who agreed to the contract. So that's quite interesting. I quite like contract law. It's quite nice and satisfying conceptually. So yeah, without further ado, let's get going. Okay, one lecture down now, moving on to the second one. We're taking a shift into the field of land law. And we have some lectures to watch on proprietary estoppel. So I have no idea what that's about. Let's find out. So my lecture's just buffering. Um, but I thought I'd take this chance to tell you guys Law is a fantastic, fantastic subject. We're learning all about proprietary estoppel, as I am, as I just mentioned, and it's basically all about when someone promises land to another, and the other person relies on the promise, and you know works on the land, and turns down other opportunities, and then loses out because um, they don't get the land in the end and then the courts kind of try and correct this situation but it's a really human context it's like the kind of reason I got into law there's real life stories and some of these cases they're about farms they're about um, streets in London they're about houses I'm just loving it so much and I'm really enjoying learning about it so I thought I would just tell you I'm done for the day and I feel Good, it's been a good day. I'm gonna get changed into some sports clothes and head down to the gym. We're starting this year, this term, as we mean to go on. Let's go. Right, let's go. Hey guys, I just got back from the gym and had a shower and I'm now changed, ready to go over to my girlfriend's house. She's making me tacos, which is just gonna top off the day perfectly. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for listening. And I don't know, I hope it helps some of you. Maybe it doesn't, if not, I just hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more Cambridge content coming up regularly this term, hopefully, and hopefully by the time the next video comes around, my hair will be in a tolerable state. Anyway, I'm so grateful for you guys. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and I'll see you very soon. But until then, stay awesome. P.S. Look how yummy my tacos are.